I'm going to mention a few words about programming the Matron Virtual Processor. To apply the Matron platform, the basic method is to identify the time-critical portion of your program, write that time-critical portion as code in Matron C, and then perform a function call from your standard program to the Matron program. Uh, there is an API developed that will help you do this very simply. It only contains about 10 different function calls. The main point is that most, most of your code is unchanged. At Metrionix, we did a port to the Metron processor of a bioinformatics code called BLAST. <coughs> the BLAST code consists of uh, a bit less than 2 million lines of code. However, the hotspot, the time critical portion of the program, only ended up as 1,300 lines, actually less than 1,300 lines of code in Metreon C. This is the portion that actually had to be ported, and the rest of the source code was left alone. This is a diagram displaying the process of compiling a Metreon C program. You start out with a Metreon C source code at the top. You go through the compiler, getting your the, the process of machine code. Now, the straight line path for this would then to go into the processor configurator and configure a processor for your, for your original source code. That would give your processor circuit design, which is in the shape of a VHDL IP core. The VHDL IP core is then passed through standard place and route and synthesis, synthesis tools, and the resulting bit file can then be placed into an FPGA. However, usually you will not be able to write a program uh, that will be completely bug free from the start. Uh, most programs will need some kind of debugging. To do this, we also have a simulator and a debugger. The simulator will, is capable of simulating the Metron virtual processor and executing uh, the processor machine code within a standard computer. So, for example, even on a laptop, uh, without an FPGA at all, you will be able to execute Metreon C code in the simulator. Once you have uh, debugged your program, you will go back to your source code, uh, rewrite those portions that turned out to be erroneous, compile and debug again until you get to a point where your program actually does what it should do. At this point, uh, you, you will configure a processor and go through the process of getting a processor into your FPGA. The Matron virtual processor needs a fine-grained, fully parallel programming language. It has to be parallel at the level of individual instructions because the MVP is a fine-grained uh, processor. To achieve this, Matrionix has developed a new C family language. It is not ANSI C, but it is a, a different programming language in the C family. You could say that Metreon C is roughly as similar to C as Java is similar to C. So most of the basic syntax is the same, and you will recognize yourself. However, there are, there are strong semantic differences between Metreon C and C, just like there are strong semantic differences between Java and C. In the case of Java, the differences arise from the fact that Java is an object-oriented programming language, whereas C is a straight procedural language. In the case of Mitron C, the difference comes from Mitron C being a parallel language, in contrast to C being a sequential language. The main advantage of Mitron C is that it allows a complete data dependency graph to be created from the algorithm. This gives you a full and perfect representation of all parallelism in the algorithm and this is necessary to extract sufficient parallelism to feed the Matron processor. You could ask yourself why we would want to develop a new programming language. One of the largest hopes throughout uh, the HPC history has been automatic parallelization. For more than 25 years there have been different attempts at succeeding in automatic parallelization. However, Automatic parallelization has a number of important problems. 
One of the most important problems is that it requires a code rewrite to suit the compiler optimizations. Compilers have different ways in which they implement their optimizations, and different compilers will require code to be written in different ways to enable the optimizations to take effect. But the biggest problem for automatic parallelization is that algorithms in themselves are sequential. If we take a very simple operation, the summing of a collection of data, one way of doing that is to take the first element, add it to the second element, add that result to the third element, add that result to the fourth element, and so on, until you have summed all the elements in the collection. An alternative method of doing it is to assign numbers to each element in your collection, take all the values at odd positions, and add them to their corresponding even positions. Compact the collection and repeat. These two algorithms are, as you can see, very different. However, the first one is sequential and the second one is parallel. The problem that automatic parallelization has to attack is to enable the automatic creation of the parallel algorithm from the sequential algorithm. And this is, of course, a very hard task to do. It can be done by simple pattern matching for a number of very basic algorithms but it is impossible to cover all algorithms in existence, especially those that haven't been dreamed up yet. Another reason why a new language is needed is that learning parallel programming is much harder than actually learning a new syntax. A new syntax can be learned by most programmers in a couple of weeks. However, parallel programming is a completely new paradigm and a different way of thinking. That is much harder than just learning a new syntax. So uh, if you have a program language that has a syntax that supports the programmer in writing parallel code, that will be much more productive than trying to write parallel code in a traditional sequential language. Finally, there are no well-supported parallel programming languages that are sufficiently parallel to give instruction level granularity. There are a number of good languages for coarse grain parallelism. Uh, for example, MPI, OpenMP, or UPC. But for fine-grained parallelism, there, is no, uh, there are no languages with good support.